tonight on BBC London. The biggest strike so far by London ambulance staff is taking place today. Just half of the service's emergency vehicles are operating in the capital. We all want more because the cost of living is going up. I have to pay to come into London. I pay congestion charge to come into London. Uh, Housing is more, more expensive. I'm trying to buy a house currently. It's proving very difficult. The service says it's providing contingency cover so it can respond to those with the most life-threatening conditions. Also on the programme. A man's been convicted for his part in the robbery of elite cyclist Mark Cavendish at his Essex home when he was threatened with a knife. What's in a name? The London Road that's been officially renamed because of concerns over the one it's had for hundreds of years. And police are searching for the driver of a car that hit six pedestrians on a high street in Haringey in North London yesterday evening. Four people were taken to hospital, but their injuries are not life-threatening. And there's severe travel disruption on the underground and overground services this evening. The Circle Line and the Hammersmith and City Lines are currently suspended due to signal failure, while there are severe delays on the Elizabeth Line due to an earlier faulty train at Paddington. There are also severe delays on the overground between Edmonton Green and Chesant. Now, it's a week on from David Carrick admitting dozens of serious sexual assaults, including rape, while an officer for the Metropolitan Police. It's again generated discussion about the safety of women and girls in London. One head teacher at an all-girls school in south-west London has written a strongly worded warning to her students to be wary of lone male police officers.